Okay, continue where we left off. So now for the next fight is break out of Prince John's castle. And like again, this round is really epic for many reasons. Heck, there's th three fights that actually have three Kingdom Hearts music, uh, different each. And the fourth one is a uh, epilogue theme for that one. So let's go. Yep, now we're in the execution of Aladdin. Yes. Yep, everyone's going to watch, including the prisoners. Oh, uh, we got the executioner. With a sack all over his head. Huh, looks like Hercules uh, had showed up just in time. Bang, right in the kiss up. And Robin Hood has revealed himself. Yep, all of Hercules' alliance have arrived to save Aladdin. Pluto, Mickey, Donald, and Goofy are here. Ratsy and Molly, and Toad is happy to see his palace again. Well, these two are happy. Abu is here too, and even Pooh, Piglet, Owl, Rabbit, and uh, all the other rest. Yeah, I know it's just Rabbit, Tigger, and Pooh, but come on, the other gang are here. So it's a whole alliance of Aladdin and Hercules. You know, well, now it's back to being Aladdin and Hercules alliance since they're saving Aladdin. And now they're all doing, Do you hear the people sing? A reference to Les Misabelles. The king of crybabies. That's what he is. Oh, now we're getting a battle going. Okay, that would have fractured his skull. Or technically kill him. Now all the prisoners are going to join Hercules' team. Shooting arrows at him. Oh, right in the booty. Whack him with a mallet. Well, at least he's got a helmet this time. <laughs> Phoebus has one heck of a punch. Huh, it makes me wonder if he feels dizzy. Uh, Sir K, I mean. Uh oh. Okay, now he's using the of the weasels getting ran over. That is the guard weasels getting ran over. Hey, there's one of the prisoners. Hey, where that chandelier came from? It. Prince Sean is just scared of Pluto. It kind of shows he's scared of dogs. Kill him! Oh, that's always be what he says it. Okay, it's kind of silly with their mask because they're not that scary looking, but the way they're scaring Piglet. Uh, hold on. <coughs> oh, did we stop already? Oh, sorry, I didn't know we just stopped. Piglet is so easily get scared. I'm gonna feel bad for him. Oh, huh, those these three are so wonderful. Like, hey, you can't do that to little Piglet like that. Again, those three are technically based off, uh, or inspired by the Three Stooges, if you guys didn't hear what I said in the previous commentary. Jasmine just knocked him out the edge of the castle! <laughs> oh, very mature. Okay, they're going to get Cloven and... This guy actually knows magic! Even though in the movie it's just cheap parlor tricks, but in here, he actually knows magic. <laughs> I like how they're going, bye. Yeah, but Aladdin is free. And, okay, we got this bit with Lady Cluck. <laughs> Aladdin covers her up with the curtains. And made Marion throws pie in her face. That Queen of Hearts is not having a good day, isn't she? And Willie the Giant. Uh, yeah, he's like, what the? How did Willie the Giant survive? That's my question. And all of a sudden, he's on the team Heroes. What made him change his mind? Did he realize that the being a villain is just too mean? I want to be a good guy instead. Okay. It's like, <laughs> the Queen of Hearts just leaves, like, but well, screw you guys, I'm going home. Aw, oh, Pete fighting against the king. Okay, now this should be kind 
an interesting to see. So I find him in the pajamas. Ah, Sir Hector gets to join in. It's like, hey, I got you, bro. Man, Pete's just overpowering him and... Okay, that would have sliced his belly because the way he swinged that sword, that would have cut his whole guts out. Oh, the sheriff is going to get Aladdin. Uh-oh. Hurt saves Aladdin and... Good job, Sheriff. You caught... You managed to make the castle go on fire. Yep, the castle is on fire. Yeah, good news for the audio. And now everyone leaves. So, Aladdin and Hercules Alliance wins. And now it's back to being Aladdin and Hercules Alliance. Since... And they're taking the prisoners along with them. And we get this bit from that Robin Hood. Okay, yeah, the whole thing with this one. At least I wonder if this could be the end of Prince John's reign since the castle's on fire. I always kind of feel bad for Sir Hiss. Doesn't anyone else feel bad for him? Okay, and now for the next one is Escape from the Forbidden Mountains. So, Merlin plans to free everyone, including the princesses and Maurice, to get out of the Forbidden Mountains to go somewhere safer. Okay, they're getting out of here. Until they're spotted by Yzma and Eric Hellstrom, a.k.a. Odin, and Madame Madame Mim. And now they're trying to get out of here. Someone brought in the gators in the castle. Okay, it's, it's a funny bit from the Emperor's New Groove, because... You know in that scene where he's like... Remind me again why she has that lover, or something like that. Uh... Yeah, it's kind of a good question. Why do they have that lever? Huh, Merlin's got Cusco covered. Just kick that gator out of them. Well, here come the guards, and Merlin showing his phenomenal powers. And she's a cat, chasing frogs now. Well, starting to, I mean. Huh. And Merlin just knocked men off the table. Okay, so that was a bit from that Cinderella 3, so yeah, it's kind of a more fun or exciting movie out of all the Cinderella films. Well, the first one is, is good. The second one was just bad. The third one was really, really good. Okay. <laughs> Acting like a gator just to scare these guards. Acting like the army, man. And, well, there goes the guards. She's not having a good day. Oh, uh, here are the Witches of Morva. Want some payback. Guess that... Huh. She went back to normal. Huh. Guess they just revert her, reversed the spell, I guess. Huh. Turn her attack spells into a bubble. Huh. Looks like Maurice is gonna... I guess he took that invention with him. What? Why did Maleficent's forces took that invention for some reason? Probably a good thing they took him because that might be good use. That's just my question. Uh, Eric's uh fine. I guess he's probably just injured or just got wounds. Merlin turns Diablo the Raven into stone. And now one last thing for these three. Ah, uh, he could just speak it. Just turns them into snow and blasts them away. Was she asleep during this whole thing? Damn it, everyone's out of here. Uh. 
Ah, they're sliding away. And the Headless Horseman has arrived. Okay, a fight between Prince Philip and the Horseman? Now, that should be interesting, I will say. Does anyone else know this footage is kind of similar to that other footage because they're marching? That's a coincidence, don't you think? <laughs> that pumpkin throw, that's a very powerful pumpkin in me. I mean, it's like a blast. Knock him off that horse. Oh, now he's going to that mountain top. Well, the. Uh, well, so that horseman is a very good climber, isn't he? Even when he's on that horse. Yeesh! Oh, we get this one. And. With that sword, Prince Philip just kills the headless horseman and destroys him. villains that never got their components they never got defeated but we only get other villains that mostly do get defeated well this we just trying to destroy the headless horseman now that is very very interesting to see that in a villains war now we get most villains getting their defeats get their just desserts even if it's the headless horseman who was never defeated in the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad Oh, these two have been asleep throughout the whole thing. Okay, and here's the next one that we get to. Yeah, then they're all free, of course. The Battle at the Circus, which is also really cool. So, Lilo and Stitch uh, sneak into the circus. Yeah, the circus is still run by the coachman. Looks like Peter's here, and... wonder what... Where's the bird, the cat, and the duck at? I always thought they'd be with him also. Really, just one. I'm just saying. It looks like Serge is doing his performance. Like Stitch is just watching this whole thing. And like, and there's Pungo! Or Fungo, sorry. It's like waiting for the opportunity. Hold on. And just drinking, and and then we get this one where they're like, "Mouse, a mouse!" Like, what the? Ah, Timothy's doing that weird mouse scariness thing. And now they're noticing Dumbo is flying, and it's like, what the heck? Yeah, even though he's a crabby villain, but can you blame him? If you would have saw an elephant with a fly, you probably would react the same too. Like, Sorcery is this? Or how did the elephant fly? And the dogs and cats have uh, arrived. Yeah, they're gonna get those kids out of here, and Oliver is reunited with his owner. And the coachman and swords send all their allies to stop them. Like, hey, they're freeing the kids and we worked so hard to kidnap them. Stop them! It's like, hey, I'm hand that boy, you ruffian. I guess Pongo just wants to help them out and fight against those guys that he's been abusively worked for. Well, he's probably been through abuse. I mean, can you blame him? Well, I can't blame Br'er Rabbit. Whoa! Kinda rude. <laughs> Mrs. Tombo just helps hanging out. And so much just summons the pink elephant. I like the mice, the Cinderella's mice getting the reaction like, what the? Oh, not just pink elephants, but also heffalumps and woozles. It's like, okay boys, grab your weapons! Oh, they're gonna attack the Jack in the Box and just knock them over. It's like, you're a tough guy, eh? And didn't realize it. Huh, take all the peanuts. Gotta stop right here. See you guys in the next commentary.